This is the future. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So as most of you guys know, the BMW is no more. Financially I wasn't able to repair it and even if I could repair it, if it broke down in a few months from now, I would be stuck in the same position as I am in now where parts and so on is too expensive to replace. The car is too expensive to maintain and I would not be able to fix it. So I obviously needed a new car and I was lucky enough to get this Toyota Runex. It's a 2006 model Toyota Runex. It's the 1600 RX and um, yeah it's still in a very very good condition second hand. It's got a bit of high um, kilos on, but it's not a problem. The car's running smoothly. Um, it's really looking good. It was never, ever, ever in an accident. It's got everything I want. It's got mag wheels. It's got electric windows. It's got aircon, ABS brakes. Now that being said, there's still a couple of things that needs to be done. Uh, I need to do a major service, replace all the brake pads, and I want to customize it a little bit. Uh, so lucky for you guys, you're going to be able to see a lot of that happening. Now, the first thing that I need to replace, or the first thing that I'm actually going to get replaced today, is the car radio. And I'll show you what and with what I'm going to replace it with, and why. Stick around. As you guys can see, this car is still in a very, very good condition. Everything is still in place. A few scratches here. Um, it's got leather seats. It's got dual airbags. And the dash is looking good. Um, even have leather seats at the back. I'm just going to change a few things. I'm just going to add a few things. Now let me show you why we're going to replace the radio today. So we are replacing this radio with either a JVC or a Kenwood. I will see today which one is the best, which one I want. And we're also going to add a small sub, a Rockford Fullscape sub. The rest of the speakers that's in the car, like the tweeters and speakers are 100%. They're not distorting. The sound is great. I really don't have a problem with the sound, but the radio is broken. And uh, let me show you why. If you turn it on, you cannot control the volume. The volume knob is broken. It's gonna be bloody loud. So as you guys can see, it's not working. You're trying to put the volume down, it actually goes louder. You put it softer, it goes louder. You go over a hump, it goes louder. So, and also this radio's got no USB plate port. It's got no auxiliary port. It's got none of the new niceties that we actually use today. So, uh, let's go and change out this radio. Well, here we are at Vans O2 and Sound. And uh, these guys, are the ones who's going to install my sound system for me. So yeah, we are at Vans Oten Sound and uh, this is actually my brother-in-law's business and he is considered as being one of the best sound installation guys in South Africa. He has had his sound installations in Speed and Sound magazines numerously. Um, he's definitely considered as one of the best and he also has a lot of qualifications and certificates and so on and so on and so forth so he's really really good they do um, custom installations custom box building they even do uh, fiberglass stuff you know they, they'll do everything and anything that you want to uh, personalize and customize your car so starting a few years ago they became the uh, installers for Rockford Force Gate 
So that's why I'm getting a Rockford Force Gate today and not just any old custom built box with any old sub. It's a really, really high quality um, sub box. So um, I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's in. Introducing my new sub box. It is the Rockford Force Gate Punch 300. It is custom built and it already has a 300 watt amp built into the box with the 12 inch sub. But you'll hear more about that a little bit later. See how nicely it fits in the car. For the head unit, we went with the JVC and uh, <laughs> look at this mess. But you're gonna see it's gonna look very nice once it's done. Okay guys, let's start looking at the upgrades. Let me introduce you first to the Rockford Punch P300. It comes in with a pre-built 300 watt amp inside, 12 inch sub, and then of course all your goodies here on the side that you need to adjust your gain, your fuses and everything. Now what's nice about this, it's got a scratch proof durable plastic that it's made from. You have your sound port here, you've got your sub, you've got the grill, so even if you put some bags and stuff at the back or groceries it's not going to damage your sub and these plugs these connectors you can actually get them loose so if I have another car I can always take this sub out and put it in the other car and I can move it from car to car to car this one is buy once and keep it for life so even if I get another car we just put in this cables and we can actually then use the sub in any other car. Let's go to the head unit. What's nice, what I got along with the whole setup is this keychain. I got this Rockford keychain. And I also got this fogger that you can spray in your car just to make it smell nice. So it's um, like a car freshener, air freshener. And I got this awesome limited edition sticker pack from Rockford. I just added the Vans one. But there's a lot of limited edition stickers in there. So for the head unit, I decided to go with the JVC. Yes, the Kenwood was nice, but the Kenwood, the only thing that made it nice was the fact that it can play CDs. And a uh, CDs is not such a big deal for me. So I went for this one because this one has got Android CarPlay and uh, it also has Apple Play so if whether I have using an iPhone or an Android device both phones can work on the radio this radio also has voice recognition and we're gonna go through the features and the manual just now so I can do some adjustments now for you guys who know what Android Play is, is you can actually connect your phone to the radio and then you use your phone through the radio so your navigation your messages phone calls everything gets managed through the radio by plugging in your phone by using this USB port that I've placed over here it also plays USB stick it's got a built-in radio and so on now as you guys can see I'm not sure if you're gonna know what happened but this trimming is actually the old radio Instead of having to build a whole new trim, we took the old radio and we cut out the face from the old radio and then we built our new radio into the old radio, well into the front face of the old radio and we used the same brackets and so on to fit it into the dash. That's why we've got this nice round shape in the dash to match the rest of the interior because it's part of the old radio. So let us look at some of the features. On this side, hidden in this space, is the base controller, which is very, very nice. I can actually control the sub base from here. Okay, starting off first, right here at the bottom is a little hole. That will be the reset button. If something goes wrong, you can reset the unit there. You have your power on and off, as well as your home screen volume up and down, your function which we are in now to do some settings which we'll get to in a moment and you have your microphone. I think this is for your voice recognition. 
Oh, for you guys who want to know, this is the JVC KWM560BT. Okay, so far on the display we've got a dimmer which is sent to synchronize. We have an on-screen display for the clock which I set on. And you can change any background picture you want. And you can adjust your screen. Oh, this is quite nice. Yeah, you can adjust your contrast, your brightness, your color and your tinting. Oh, there's some presets for backgrounds. The second place where we go to is to set your clocks. So it is 2021. This is unfortunately not the first month, it's the 12th. Today will be the 14th. And the time is 18.23, that's the time. On this main display you can also see you have your cameras. If I have a front or rear camera, this is where you're gonna set it. Bluetooth settings, device and special. What's on the special? Oh damn, I'm glad it's off. Software information. Let's see. That's your app version and all of that. I don't want to go in there too much. Bluetooth is if you want to connect something else from Bluetooth. That's fine. And device. Android Auto mode. Audio setup. Here you've got speaker and crossovers, equalizers, your balancing, your fader, volume offsets, and your sound effects. What sound effects? Oh, loudness and bass boost, which obviously we do not need because of the sub. The sub packs a punch, and I know that's why they call it a punch. It's really, really loud. I just want to do a, a quick presetting on this equalizer because it's not sounding 100% the way I want to. So you can adjust everything by hand. You have pre-selected settings that you can use. So I'm just going to quickly um, work with this for a little while. Check out the vibration of the mirror when the sub is working. Okay, that's your settings. There's the date, the times. You have your Apple CarPlay, which I'm going to set up a bit later tonight. Put some music on my phone. Your tuner, your phone there. You can do USB mirroring. There's not a lot of settings, it's basic settings. There's a lot of ways to get into the same menu. Here you can select to play your USB, BT Audio, AV In if you have a camera, AV Off if you even have extra screens at the back, you want to play some movies for the kids, some DVDs or anything, well not DVDs, well DevX movies or any movies, you can play it for the kids at the back. And that's that, that's a, a really quick description of what this radio can do. This is a nice feature. You can set the volume up and down there. But if you want to do it a quick way, you can also do this. Oh, down. It's one of the gestures. And you can skip the songs forward or backwards. But this is the end of the radio. Um, actually quite straightforward. What I, what I would like you guys to do is to drop me a comment if you are interested in having a more in-depth explanation or review of this unit. I can do that for you later. If you are interested in this radio and you want to know all the functions and everything that it does step by step, then let me know in the comments below. Okay guys, for the final interior upgrade, I changed these boot shocks with brand new ones. I got myself a scissor wheel jack with this new kind of handle that goes with it. And I got myself two triangles and a wheel spanner. I've added this nice seat covers, new mats, so yeah, I think I'm done with the interior. I've got um, new mats here at the back as well, so yeah. Unfortunately the side box sit flush against the seat because the, the floorboard that goes over your spare wheel was stolen. So there's a, what you call it, there's a gap there, so the side box keep on moving forward. But it's not the end of the world. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there's now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website 
at www.cryptzone.co.za. We can go straight to my podcast if you want to. By clicking on the podcast icon, you'll be stay- taken straight to the Anchor podcast page where I do my podcast. And remember, when you go to my YouTube page, there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop me an email. And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.